Now I'm no green thumb, so it's highly likely these plants will be dead within a year, but you know, they look good right now. What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today I wanna to show you my new apartment. I moved to New York City. I've always wanted to live here at least once in my life, and recently I finally had the chance to make that happen. Now, I only had a couple of days to look for a place, and I don't think I could have found this place without a broker, so uh, I had a great broker, and if you need somebody, let me know and I'll hook you up. I am in the Upper East Side neighborhood, just a short walk to the Met Museum and Central Park. It's a really cool neighborhood. It's got plenty of you know bars and restaurants, but it's a little quieter than some other neighborhoods. The apartment is a studio with lots of exposed brick and just enough space for me to live and work out of. Now you're probably wondering what the rent is, right? You know, you watch these apartment tour videos and it's always annoying when they don't tell you how much they pay and you just wanna know. So I'll tell you, it's $23.95 a month. That's not including utilities. So it's closer to 2,500 a month. It's very expensive for, you know, not that much space, but it's not that bad for New York, uh, especially Manhattan. And, you know, Upper East Side is actually a little more affordable than other neighborhoods. So, um, you know, all things considered, it's a pretty good deal. I'm excited to show you the place and I will link to everything you see down below in the description. So let's start off with the entryway. For small apartments like this, extra storage is a must. I need a shelf for my everyday carry stuff and some shallow storage that wouldn't take up too much space. The shelves I got are just cheap shelves from Amazon. Definitely not high quality, but they fit the space really nicely. This little wooden valet tray is from Ecuador. I spent a couple of months living in Ecuador between jobs in my 20s. And so this is kind of a memento from that time, but it's also functional, you know, and I like things that are sort of decor, but that also serve a purpose. Of course, you need a full length mirror. A big mirror can make your place feel a little bigger, it reflects light, and of course it makes putting together a nice outfit a lot easier. Moving over to the living area, I owe a big thanks to Article for hooking me up with this living room furniture. I've always admired this brand uh, from afar and I've always had my eye on a couple of things, so I was thrilled when they offered to send me a sofa and a couple of other things for this new apartment. This is the Anton 74 inch sofa in gravel gray. It's bigger than a love seat, but smaller than a full size couch, so it's perfect for this space. It's super comfortable whether you're sitting on it or lying down, and I actually find myself spending quite a bit of time on this sofa. This gray fabric is very durable and it'll fit in with any place, any color scheme, any kind of vibe that you're going for. You know, it's a nice neutral color that's gonna work. The coffee table is also a great size for a smaller apartment. Uh, it's got these oak legs and this marble top. It feels very high end and it's definitely built to last. The floor lamp also helps to elevate the space. It's got this matte black finish with this polished copper and it just looks very classy and I like how it works with the coffee table and the sofa. Uh, definitely adds a nice touch to the room. I keep Philips Hue light bulbs in there so I can change the color and the intensity of the light from my phone. So, you know, during the day, I'll keep it on like a daylight uh, setting. And then at night, I'll put it on a softer, more yellow light uh, when I'm just relaxing and winding down. I got these Hue lights from my dad. He loves these things. Every time I go back to my parents' house, there are more Hue lights. Like the bathrooms have Hue lights. The garage has Hue lights. My mom hates them. I feel like in general, women aren't as into these types of lights as, as men are, but my dad loves them. And I gotta say, I kind of love them too. And finally, this hand woven rug is in sort of a natural vanilla color. Uh, it's very, very soft, feels great, especially with bare feet on. It's a great rug and I think it really ties the room together. Of course, I will link to all of these article pieces down below in the description. So if you're in need of some furniture or a rug or a lamp or anything else, definitely go check out article. Moving out of the kitchen area, I got these acrylic stools off of Craigslist, they were super cheap. I like that they're clear so they don't take up much visual space. They have a small physical footprint as well. They swivel, they're adjustable, and this is a really nice spot to sit and eat breakfast. Uh, I don't really have room for an actual table, so I'm glad this apartment came with like a breakfast counter. Believe it or not, this is a pretty good sized kitchen for a Manhattan studio. Uh, you know, it has an actual fridge, not a little half fridge. It's got a gas range. Um, to be honest, I don't cook a whole lot. Uh, I mostly just toast stuff and make coffee. Uh, but when I do cook and when I do need the counter space, 
They do have some counter space with this island. And then there's, you know, plenty of storage cabinets. And I found that with these places that there's no storage, you know, so you really use every square inch of cabinets. So I'm utilizing all the kitchen cabinets. And uh, yeah, this kitchen is plenty for what I need. The bathroom is pretty standard. Uh, I got the smallest bath mat that I could find. It's from Pottery Barn. Um, and I'll link to that down below as well. In the shower, I've got some old favorites as well as some new products that I'm testing out. I've got my native body wash, got some Pete and Pedro and some beard brand shampoo and conditioner, got some matte for men. I find that I kind of stick with the stuff that I like and then I also always try new stuff just to make sure I know what's out there and to see if there's anything that's worth recommending to you guys. I love that this bathroom has really bright lights, a lot of lighting and a lot of mirrors. There's no windows in here, so it's nice that you have that bright light. Uh, and then there's plenty of storage behind the mirrors as well. So that's nice because, you know, I'm always getting these samples to test out and uh, I just need somewhere to keep all this stuff. Back into the main room, I've got a nice big closet it to keep all my stuff, plenty of hanging storage, and I've got these two small shoe racks that I took from my old place, and it's just enough space. I mean, I have it, you know, packed. Crazy thing is I got rid of a bunch of stuff before moving, and I still feel like I, I have so much, but um, I feel like you kind of fill up the space that you have, and my last place was a three-bedroom house, so definitely had to pare down a little bit when I moved to New York. Across the room over this sort of faux fireplace, I've got my keyboard. I grew up playing piano. Uh, I don't play as much as I should now, but I do tickle the ivories every now and then, especially around the holidays. On the other side, I have this tall dresser. It's from Ikea. It actually offers a lot of storage with a relatively small footprint, but I keep this area next to the dresser clear because this is where I put my tripod when I'm filming this shot right here. My bed frame is from Zinus. It's either Zinus or Zenus, but it's this really popular brand that mostly sells on Amazon. Now, I'm usually wary of Amazon brands, but this one had great reviews and I've heard about it from a bunch of friends. And I'm really, really happy with this bed frame crazy value for the price, super easy to put together, and I'm just very happy with it. Of course, I'll link to that bed frame down below in the description. I did get the higher version, the 12 inch one, because I needed some extra storage space uh, for like storage bins and like off season clothes under the bed. So, you know, a lower bed might look cooler, but it just makes practical sense to have some storage underneath the bed. The mattress is from Allswell, which is actually owned by Walmart. It's like Walmart's answer to Casper. Uh, great mattress, it's a hybrid foam and spring, kind of firm, very comfortable. The bedding and the sheets are from Allswell and then the bedspread is from Brooklinen. You know, I tend to run hot, so I don't use like a down comforter or a big, uh, you know, heavy blanket or anything. I do have this throw blanket. It's faux fur, by the way, not real, uh, from West Elm, and I'll use that if I get cold. But I actually, I love having the bed right next to the window, and I open the window at night to let that cool air in. I just find I sleep better. I did have to get window coverings because there were no shades or blinds here, so I got these shades from blindster.com. Overall, had a really good experience ordering shades on online. It, it was pretty uh, painless process measuring your windows. And, you know, so you kind of get these semi customized shades and they were shockingly inexpensive. It was a little tough to install them, but all in all, I had a really good experience. These are called sheer shades. They're kind of an alternative to blinds where you can sort of toggle them between blocking out most of the light or letting in diffused light. And finally, we have my desk. This is where I spend most of my time. So I've got my MacBook Pro connected to the 4K LG Ultrafine monitor, the monitor, and then my mic that I use for podcasting and voiceover work uh, are both on articulated arms, so it's very adjustable. The desk is also adjustable. It's the Jarvis desk from Fully, so it's a standing desk. And I find that I do spend most of my time standing while I work. And so that's why I actually got rid of my desk chair. And then when I do wanna sit, I just pull in my stool from the keyboard and I sit down for a while, but I really prefer standing. I've had this desk for a few years now and I really, really like it. I really think it's totally worth every penny. And not having a super comfortable desk chair uh, tends to keep me on my feet. So I'm not saying you should stand all day. I think you should switch it up, but you definitely shouldn't sit all day. And of course, no space is complete without a few plants. I actually ordered these online, I think from Amazon. Amazon, and I didn't expect much, but they showed up in pretty decent shape. The succulents were a little rough, but for the most part, I think they're gonna be fine. And really, I mean, if there's one thing you can do to enhance any room, 
it's just add a plant or add three plants. It really just elevates the space and makes it feel a lot better. Now I'm no green thumb, so it's highly likely these plants will be dead within a year, but you know, they look good right now. Overall, I'm really happy with this space. I'm sure I'll continue to tweak it a little bit as I spend more time here, but I really enjoy working here. I really enjoy coming back here after a long day in the city. And speaking of the city, New York has been amazing so far. Like there are so many cool people to connect with here. Some old friends that I've, I've had for a long time that, that live here that I get to hang out with more. There's always someone to shoot photos with. And there's just an energy in this city. Uh, there's this hustle and this drive that I really haven't felt anywhere else. During my time here in New York, I will be doing some in-person meetups. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Modest Man Style. And also living here, I've run into a couple of you on the street, which is really, really cool. So if you do see me out there, please stop and say hi. I hope you enjoyed this apartment tour video. Uh, like I mentioned, everything that you saw will be linked to down below in the description. So definitely check that out. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish. Bye.